Hey folks, this is Sean Hollister with CNET and I'm in the new Vive Pro, an enhanced version of the Vive Virtual Reality headset that has way better resolution inside. I'm looking at a 2880 by 1600 screen, which has a much higher pixel density than the original. What that means is it looks far clearer. It used to be that I was looking kind of through a mesh mask at a virtual world, and now it's a little bit more glassy, a little bit more like I'm actually there. In addition to that, we got these brand new adjustable ear cups. The original one, you had to plug in your own headphones, not anymore. And way more comfortable head straps. A lot easier to leave this on my head and walk around this space. Uh, this is also going to be compatible with a new upgraded set of sensors that Valve's going to be putting out. You can have four sensors in a room at a time. So here's one thing we experienced with the Vive Pro. I'm a surgeon in an operating room uh, applying gel to a patient probing to see uh, what's underneath the site of a possible incision and inserting some uh, anesthetic into the patient. Another thing you might notice on the back of these ear cups are new volume and mic mute buttons that allow you to quickly control your audio. The other thing the Vive team announced today is a new wireless adapter that allows you to walk around a room hands-free. It uses Intel's Ygig technology. There's some third-party companies that have tried it before, but now Vive is gonna do it itself with its own official wireless adapter, which you could also buy for the original Vive headset if you don't wanna get the new Pro.